Face Feel on fire. Going. Ugh, Palo's gone, but I still gotta scream. You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silence me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising, her whole rum factory. We're going to fuck it up, bankrupt her. By the time we're through, Marquesa won't even have any ass lift money left. Her fucking propaganda machine took our voice, so we got only one option left. Our bullets. Make that bitch pay. Danny! Danny! My best friend, my sweet little piglet. What? You, me, Segunda, Main Square, drinks, now! Sounds like you got a head start. <laughs> Coño, I'll be there when I can. Go easy, bicho. Oye, sending a pic of Marquesa's propaganda trucks. Sorry you have to look at her face. <laughs> Just another reason to take them out. Been sick of hearing her propaganda bullshit since Castillo took over. Fuck them up, Danny. Maria's rum factory. Time to make some noise. Flamethrower. Officer in charge. Shitty rum. Kaboom. This feels good. <laughs> like therapy.
was for you, Talia. The rum factory is gone, and so is the money she stole from it. <laughs> Eso! Now keep hitting her face! Billboards and shit, fire, bullets, piss, puke, blood! Look, I don't care! Whatever you got! I'll stick to weapons. I want Maria to see herself burn. Remind Leatherface of her mortality, you know? Let's move, Boom Boom! Boom Boom! Over here! Dale! Party started.
Andrea's going to get the message now. Hola, took care of the propaganda. Fuck yeah, you did. Let's go a little bigger, see? Just heard those coming mierdas are putting up another fucking Anton statue at El Presidente Square. I swear, it's the only way that guy can get hurt. <laughs> it's as good as gone, Talia. Silvio, motherfucker. Dalia, I'm at the statue. The bullets aren't going to cut it. I'm gonna need to blow it up somehow. See? Spread out. Jump the fuck. Binga! Maximus Matanzas is fucking dead. Radio Libertad is dead. We were the mouth of the revolution. Mouth. Mouth. And you know what's even worse? This bottle is empty. How fucked up is that? You and me? Got a date with some cervezas, and then those cervezas friends and family and cousins, every fucking cerveza on this whole stupid island. I have a plan. There's some soldiers here, and they have booze, but they 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 don't need it like like a, like a we do. <laughs> Liberate the cervezas, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking get your liver ready. We're gonna put that little guy through the ringer. <laughs> Sound. There it is again. Listen. Better watch myself here. My person. I
Nice! What'd you get? Never mind. I don't Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this! Priorities way! With our own hands. My sister went into the military. I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling it. Danny, you hear that? Music! Go, Danny! Salud! Salud, Danny. Party time! <laughs> Come on, you little fucker! Let's dance! <laughs> Much better! to his own fucking music! Abajo. Arriba! Hey, hey, que hola! Hey, got the request? Say, can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! Better, Bicho. Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here. Oh shit! Phone. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Uh, Danny. Bicho, you coming, mierda? Where'd you go? Danny, there's a really big dog here. <laughs> is, is that a cow? Where where'd you find a cow? Uh, he's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are, 
I'll come find you. <laughs> stop, stop it! Bad dog! <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? <laughs> Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, bicho. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push-ups. What? Yeah, a, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. <laughs> and if you puke, they make you do math. <laughs> Me lleva la chingada fucking math? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> I, I can't look at our old graffiti. It makes my heart feel like a bag of dog shit. We need to cover it up. Go, Danny. Paint my pain. Because that's what my dream is now. Radio Libertad is just a broken heart full of shit. There, tag that shit. Now it's messed up. Perfecto. Just like me. Okay, that's every single one. Really? How, how many did you do? Like, uh, at least a hundred. Nice. Drink. Danny, I need to hear their voices. I need Maximus Matanzas right now. I need everyone in this whole town to hear them. Then, bicho, my little chalupa. I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. <laughs> Follow me. If you witness someone receiving visitors during curfew, report them to the PDP immediately. That's it. What a good dog. ¿Qué tal? Roar cast a shit, bicho. Let's make segunda for your dance. dance. For libertad. <laughs> I'm going to remodel Maria's office. Hang on. There's a password. Really? Yes! Listen to that! Glorious! Talia! Paolo! I miss you! We should 
should go. I think I'm done with this now. Then let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what isn't? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this. That's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends, just like you. Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for the lost. After that, I was cadet 2683, then drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla, just like you. I use this, and you use that, huh? But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Let's see. Paolo's gone, Beecho's a crying mess, and Talia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Talia. Don't give up on them yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. You here to pick up Paolo's slack? Maria's going to be busy. We got a lot to do here. <laughs> I'm a grenade ready to pop. <laughs> We hit Maria's rum factory, we fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck up Marquesa's show. Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Engineer spotted.
Thank you. De nada. The press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benevides. Press passes? This is my shot, Danny. For a shithole song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot, and don't go in without us. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvia Balboa Garden City. Urban Garden. Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Today, I am honored nice. and excited Barman to share with you the, the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Possible for the inside tour. You really make the reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, y exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. There, the fertilizer is working on the plants as we speak. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. 
This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaran tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. And keep Castillo in power. Unfortunately. Group, por favor. Yaren to Yaren, you believe that organic shit? You're Yaren. She said I was writing an exclusive. Uh, Yaren at heart only. Love to know if she was really Castillo's mistress. But she'd probably try to disappear me for asking. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rome. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a... Uh, I say... Uh, sneak peek. <laughs> so peek. Peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio.
Come now, Dr. Reyes. We don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yard in Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that mari macho you spread your perversions with. Where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? <laughs> Fuck. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Hello?
Your mother is dead.